she thinks she's doing it. That was a good spin. Well, that wasn't a great start to a Magic Kingdom day. I don't know what is. Yeah. But we wanted to say thank you again to uh, Kyle and Morgan for saying hi to us the other day. And they ran into us today. And it was a great meeting, you guys. We're so happy to have met you. Yeah. Um, it was a little sad seeing you guys go. Like, we saw them right before they were leaving to go home. But it made me realize something, or like bring up another a thought that I don't know if I've reiterated before. And it's, it's very important for people who come down to visit Disney World. And it's that no matter what, Disney World's gonna be here. Like it's sad to leave, but you have to leave to come Find back. Your next vacation. Exactly, and that's what we lived by before we decided to move down here. Because that's what got us through leaving. Because it's hard to leave, especially when you don't know when your next trip is planned. Or when you do, it's still hard. But you have to leave to have that excitement to come back, to have that no, plane ride back. Fun to have that bus ride through the, the gates. Yeah. That's why Walt made it here, because it's it's always going to be here. Yes, and our cousins, they decided to head back to the hotel to have a little <laughs> cool down. It's really, really warm today. It's it actually is. not as busy as we expected it to be, um, but it is very hot. So we're going to meet up with them later after their dining reservations. And then we'll have the whole night with them here. But yes. until that, we're just going to play in the parks and do it like we usually do. Exactly. <laughs> oh my gosh. Guys, I thought it would be busy. I thought it would be packed. It's a holiday weekend. It's a holiday. But it is... It's pretty empty. Yeah. I mean, like, our cousins were saying there was, like, ten, a lot of 10-minute waits earlier. There's not a lot of people here today right now. How great. At this point, it's just humor. This is the third time we've been on Big Thunder. And by the, chance. The third time. We were given front row. We're not even trying. We're not even asking. Look at it. It's the third time. That felt pretty good in the rain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice and cool now. I didn't bring a hat, but my hair might be ruined. But that was. This is slowly becoming one of my my, my favorite ride. I think. It's Sam Engel, everybody. Hey, tell us, Sam, what great American story are we sharing today? Today we shall salute the midnight ride of Paul Revere. Cue the patriotic music. <clears throat> Ah, two lanterns, they're coming by sea. Ah, yes. Now, Paul Revere, upon his horse, did ride. Oh, where is the horse? Ah, ah, here you go, Kermit. Ah, uh, done so. You were supposed to get a real horse. Great moments in history. Great moments in history. Great moments in history. Uh oh, Kermit lost his voice. What did you think? Cute. It was cute. I love that. Yeah. I'm happy to say, well, I mean, I hope it stays down, but it's gotten much cooler. There's a breeze. This is like. Yeah, there might be rain coming in, but it's cooled down. And there's a cool breeze, like there's usually not a breeze at all here. And if it is, it's definitely not cool. It's or definitely it just means fall is on its way. Yes. And we thrive on the fall. What do we got going on? We are going on the Astro Arbor for the first time since our last day of our college program in 2011. Really? Since then? Yeah, that's the last time we've been on it. And it is raining out there. I mean, it's not bad. You might not even be able to see it, but it is raining. It's doing that like constant drizzle with that like is a heavy drizzle. Like you're gonna get wet. Like you're in it for more than 15 seconds, you're wet. And they'll let this. They'll keep this going until it lightning. So we're about to go spin on some rockets I'm so in the rain. Excited. This is a good ride. It just it takes some time because you have to go up on the elevator to get there. But they take a lot of people at once. Yeah. Okay. Here's our elevator ride, and it is currently raining harder than it was just a second ago. I'm like slightly nervous about it now. 
Going up. Going up. What goes up? Sarah said joking on the way up that it was raining less up here. It opened the elevator door and it's like real, real raining. Like, we're still going on it, but we got our. Look at mine, right? We got our, our ponchos on. What? Is this a tall mountain? Oh, yeah, we haven't been up here since it was like done. Ooh. I don't even have my hood up, I just realized. Yeah. Let me get in. Uh, uh. We barely fit on this. <laughs> and it is boring. It's boring. I'm nervous for the camera safety right now. Alright, here we go. Get the blast off. thing and split corn dog nuggets from Casey's which we have yet to have or if we should do the more fun thing and get a sundae from the ice cream parlor and split that okay let's look at the menu or some corn dog nugs and french fries and a cold pop First thing, we're gonna be in the parks until park closed, pretty much. We only have PB and J's. So what's our game plan for food? I think we should get this done. And maybe they'll want to come here later and... Get ice cream later too, or go to Top of the World and get a snack. Yeah. To the Nugs. This is a quick uh, clarification, disclaimer, that these are not the normal pocket Nugs that we were talking about. We're talking about corn dog nuggets. Just wanted to clear the air. All right, Sarah. What just happened with Marcel inside? Who we don't know. Who's just a nice cast member in there, Casey's. He just had this on the counter. It's a frozen lemonade. Frozen lemonade. And he was like, "Do you want this?" And I walked up. I was like, "Excuse me, like, what is that?" And he's like, "It's yours. Do you want it? It's a frozen lemonade with the cool straw. We're keeping the straw for sure. Yeah. But we got a coke." Like, what is up with? We're just like, he's getting really good stuff. Well, we love it and we really appreciate it yeah. every single time it happens. So we got a coke. Uh, corn dog nuggets and the delicious french fries. It was twelve fifty-five. I forgot to use our two dollars on our gift card. Sorry We'll use it eventually, but we are eating outside because it's too wet to sit on the garbage can So we're gonna do a high top table and we're gonna hope that Jim the piano player comes out But I think he might be done for the day. I think it's too late, but you never know Sarah's been Jones in the Sea of Hoedown, Frontierland, since we moved here. But there's all these different people staged like attractions, cast members, with merchandise cast members, with Pecos Bill cast members, put over by Frontier Mercantile. Like, it doesn't make sense. And when that happens sometimes, it means a hoedown. Because mm -hmm. it's like a, a flash mob, but it's different people from entertainment in the regular costumes of merchandise and attractions and uh, quick service food. So when you see them just like hanging around, We'll probably, oh here comes Big Al. Yeah, then the country bears come out. So get ready. So I used to get to do this on every ship. Like, even you would our, do it or you would watch it? no, our managers will let us go out and do at least the Hokey Pokey. Because so. like the choreography part is the choreographed part. Yeah. So. It's a lot of fun. Ooh, there he is. Dancing one. Two, three. Fire bears here. We might have to move.
have fun. Keep going. Huh? Keep going. What do they do? There's more. Having a good old time in the middle. You put it in and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Oh, look at liver lips. Playing the violin. Good thinking, Sarah. That was great. Yeah. It looks quite gloomy out, especially on the camera. We're taking a relaxing break. What'd you say? I said, we're just taking a relaxing break. Yeah. And now it's raining. <laughs> and everyone's, I think everyone's running. We're not running, we're just gonna get our jackets on. Go, go, go. Go, go. Uh, hold on. We're ready for the rain. Look at those clouds. Look at those clouds. We don't want it to stop us. Yeah. See? Yeah. Yeah. We're set. And then the car closed at night Yeah, so 8.30, uh, once upon a time, and 9 o'clock after every after. So, that's what, we, that's what we got going on. What do you have going on? My hair. We're in this um, store, Peter was teasing me, and we're going to the Halloween party or not. So now I'm teasing her about going to the next Halloween party. I'm just joking. But I think my hair's losing this battle against the rain because it just won't stop. Our cousins are eating at um, Chef Mickey's right now. And so we walked over here because it started raining and we're just getting, looking at all the good stuff at these gift shops before they're done and we're gonna see what we wanna do. Because I don't think the rain's gonna last. No, but, it's light out still. But it's hard because I think like the, cell, the storm's coming in still. So we'll see, we'll play it by ear. But it's the only night that they're gonna be able to see the fireworks show, so hopefully the rain leaves. So while we're waiting for our cousins, we're exploring Contemporary, and we found something we never knew. So this is the other, this is the north side of the Contemporary, where the monorail leaves, but you can go outside. And there's these seats over here. I just wanted to come see how the monorail looks coming in and out. But there's literally seats just for fireworks. <laughs> she was scared. There it goes. Alright. Let's see if you can see it. There it is, right there. Alright, here it comes. Orange monorail. Only slightly terrified it's gonna drip some weird juices on me. So, are you ready? So while we were walking around the Contemporary, there's this location trivia. And we were able to do all the questions and Sarah became a trivia champ. <laughs> Alright, so we came up to the 11th floor. I was wrong before, we were on the 4th floor before, so go to the 4th floor for those seats. But we wanted to come see how it looked from up here and now that I think about it, I think we're kind of stalking our cousins because they're somewhere in there. And we might be able to get a shot of him. Is Chef Mickey's a buffet? I had no idea. I've never been. 
But we have a cool shot of the Mary Blair work in here. But we wanted to see if we can go out to this, like, outside up here. The fun part about the uh, Contemporary Resort is that it was a giant skeleton. They built it, a frame exoskeleton, and they literally just brought <coughs> each of these rooms were like giant, uh, like were its own box, fully furnished with electrical wiring, plumbing, furniture. They slid them into the spot and plugged up all the spots of it and everything, and it was good to go. And that's what it, how they built it. We decided to come see what was at the arcade and there's this game that like somebody just left with their points so we're playing it. It's like a dart throwing game. Oh! Okay, good. Go high. Go high and go. Yeah. Too much? Megan can kind of do it. Matthew's just shaking his hands. <laughs> did, did you say we're up here? No. Oh. So we were able to get up to the, the top of the world lounge. We weren't sure because we're the DVC members, but we're not staying on property with the family. But the cousins are. What? Oh, it's the men's over there. <laughs> See, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> but we got up to the top of the world for the fireworks. And now we're dancing. We're sending people to the long way to the bathroom. <laughs> what was your favorite ride of the day? Yeah, what was your favorite ride? Uh, you were kissing the princesses. No, I wasn't. <laughs> Pirates? Peter Pan? Yeah, Peter Pan. Peter Pan was Peter super Pan? cool. Pe Peter Pan was fun. It is fun. How you fly on the, on the boat? Yeah, on the How about you? Pan. Peter Pan? These kids are after my own heart. That's Wait, one of my favorites. Or the Haunted Mansion. Or oh. the Haunted Mansion. You did love the Haunted Mansion dress. The, ha the Haunted oh, Mansion yeah, yeah, hit the me in the thing. back so hard. <gasps> the wall just came out and it hit me like oh. this. Public service announcement. I greatly apologize for my hair. <laughs> really, it's been like the last couple of minutes. Yeah, but we are home. It is Monday, which is actually Sunday, so we're sad. Because tomorrow it's we'll go back to week, work. It's a short week, though. It is a short week, and, and we, we have family, family here, here, so it'll be exciting. Um, thank you for following along on our fun day today. Yeah. Give us a thumbs up. Give us a description about something fun to talk about in the comment section below. <laughs> Just something fun. Yeah, something fun. Favorite color, favorite food. Favorite place to go that doesn't have Mickey Mouse all over it? I want to go to Boston or Yellowstone. Whatever. Not a big deal. Your brain is just everywhere. My brain is everywhere. I don't want to go back to work tomorrow right no, now. I have Sunday-itis. I, the Monday. thing about me is like, I don't want to go back to work, but literally when I'm there for a, after the first two hours, I'm like good for the rest of the week. Like I'm like, alright, work. Let's do it. Let's knock it out. I love it. It's hard work from people. It's that first two hours after the weekend. For me, it's just I have a lengthy to-do list, and 
I just gotta make a lot of short to-do lists and then it's not so overwhelming. Yes. Deep tired. Checking out what he's yeah. doing. And with that? It's good to be home. It's good to be home. Oh, and then everybody, hi Kate. Everybody, just be aware of the new hurricane coming in. No one knows where it's gonna go yet. Everyone yeah. keeps asking us if we're worried because it's the first one since we moved here that could come to Florida. But the thing about like Florida is it's different than other states where they're because of like geological reasons they're more set up for lots of water. Geographical. Um, geographical, both. They're set up for lots of water, and it's still a lot of. It's a few days away before we know where no, it's going to exactly go. Exactly where it's going. So yeah. we'll be prepared yes. regardless. But but no matter where you are, you'd be prepared too, because I know it's like going to go to. A, we know it's going to go to certain places, and it's going to be a bad storm. So just be yeah. prepared. No one thinking about you. Always. Good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled. Walt Disney Productions.